Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 5th of 2019. Well, it is titled spiral galaxies spinning super fast. So what do we see here? Well, we see six different images of various spiral galaxies around the universe. And spiral galaxies, as you can guess from their name, have a distinct spiral structure or a pinwheel type structure to them. Uh, some of them have spiral arms that go straight down to the core that are called ordinary spirals, which appears to be somewhat like the one in the upper left. Others like the two top ones towards the right are barred spirals where you can see a distinct bar going through the center. Now what we call one a normal spiral and another a barred spiral, they really come in about equal amounts that they're not really one is one is not more unusual than the other. But the reason and the mechanism for why the bar forms is something we don't completely understand. So why do we say these are spinning super fast? Well, we can measure the rotation rates of spiral galaxies from their stars. And one of the things that we find is that they are spinning so fast that they should be breaking apart. If we measure just by looking at them the amount of light that they're emitting, and by light I mean all electromagnetic radiation, so could be visible light, could be x-rays, could be radio waves, that would tell us how much matter should be there. And based on that calculation of matter, there is not enough mass there to hold these spirals together because of how fast they are spinning. These are some of the six fastest spinning galaxies that we know of. So what is holding them together? Well, this is postulated to be what we call dark matter, that there is other matter there that is contributes its gravity, but does not contribute any light to the galaxy. So we don't see it. And that means it doesn't give off visible light. It doesn't give off x rays. It doesn't give off radio waves. It gives off nothing. So it is a different kind of matter from what we are ordinarily used to. It is not the same kind of stuff that makes up the stars and planets that we are used to seeing. It is some other kind of matter and that means it's not the stuff that makes nebulae either. It's not some kind of gas or dust out in space. It is some other kind of material that makes up a significant fraction of the mass of a galaxy. Now what do we mean by a significant fraction? Well in many cases we need maybe 50 or 100 galaxies worth of matter to explain the observations that we see. In order to explain why these spiral galaxies still exist, even though they are spinning so fast, we not only need all of the material that we see, but we need another many galaxies worth of material. So for every star and star cluster we see in a galaxy like these, we need 50 to 100 of those um, galaxy of the of those stars or star clusters in order to explain the observations. And this is what is known as dark matter which makes up a major portion of the material in the universe and in fact dominates the amount of ordinary matter which is what we generally study in astronomy. We look at ordinary matter things that make up planets and stars and nebulae and gas clouds and dark dust clouds and everything out in space. But there is a lot more material there that we don't completely understand because it doesn't interact with ordinary matter. We only see it through its gravitational effects. It doesn't glow or give off any other kind of light that we can detect. But it is a large portion of the material of the universe and something that we have been trying to learn more and more about over the last several decades. So that was our picture of the day for November the 5th of 2019. It was titled Spiral Galaxies Spinning Super Fast. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.